money, yeah, yeah. Get money, yeah, yeah. Get money, yeah. What's good, family? You already know we back again for another video. If you guys end up enjoying, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe down below. Click the post notification bell because all that shit is appreciated. Now, if you aren't entered in the NBA shooting sleeve giveaway, go ahead and click the Gleam link at the top of the description because you'll have a chance to win a black or a red NBA sleeve. Now, today, I was going to do a Supreme drop list, but this drops by Jay is playing right now. So I chose to just do something else because I'm tired of not posting for you guys. By the way, I do apologize for that i've been kind of down lately and i wasn't really in the mood to be recording editing and all that shit but we back baby so you already know the shit we already back we about to post like crazy and we about to pick up where we left off you feel me now today we're gonna talk about why you shouldn't sell your supreme items as soon as you get them why you should probably wait and my opinions on StockX as a whole. So let's not waste any time and let's get straight to it. The first thing I wanna talk about is the fact that people buy Supreme and sell it sometimes for under retail or literally they make like five, ten dollars a piece, which is <laughs> retarded. If you wanna resell Supreme, I definitely recommend you to wait until the season is over or about to be over for the simple fact that prices go down low as <laughs> right after the drop. And even a couple weeks after the drop, they're still low as shit. And by the end of the season, people remember about pieces that dropped earlier in the season and they're like yo i kind of want that shit and they don't mind paying a little bit extra because they know that if they don't prices are gonna most likely keep rising now what people are doing these white kids i'm not really gonna say white kids i'm talking about kids that have a lot of money and they just want to get a quick flip what they do is they go to stock x right and they list their item at x amount and the next person is going to list it lower and they're going to keep battling until prices are barely over retail the main issue i have with this is that sometimes people people are trying to make profits on things and hype on certain pieces aren't there anymore because they're killing it. The fact that you lower the price so low on certain items defeats the hype, defeats the purpose. You feel me? They're doing it with sneakers. They're doing it with Prime. They're doing it with a whole lot of shit and it's just not cool. You feel me? You're mm -hmm. the hype beast community. The shit don't make no mm -hmm. sense, but it's kind of stupid. You feel me? Now, my thoughts on StockX is that they're a really dope ass platform in my very own opinion. Don't bash me for this. I feel like it's a dope ass platform because it's like the stock market for streetwear and sneakers now the problem on stock x are the people selling on stock x i feel like there has to be some type of guideline that doesn't let people go below a certain price on certain pieces for example let's talk about the tnf collab now this was not the best collab by far but it still should have been at least 800 700 dollars i've seen this jacket go for 500 dollars on stock x that doesn't make no sense that's a hundred dollars over retail on a jacket that normally goes for a thousand now i get that this piece wasn't the best one but it still should have been eight hundred dollars you feel me and the fact that somebody posted at 700 and in two minutes you see somebody posted 10 20 dollars under then they undercut and keep undercutting until it's like 600 is mind-blowing honestly the people on stock x are ruining stock x but stock x itself is really dope and i feel like they'll get that shit sorted out through time now as far as buying goes on stock x that shit is amazing honestly because the prices are so low that you could pick them up there and probably flip them somewhere else for a better price but i feel like on other platforms they're catching on to what StockX is doing and prices are depleting in general so that shit is annoying but it's just my thoughts at the end of the day i want to know what you guys have to say about this down below it would definitely mean a lot if you commented let me know what you think about what i've said so far it's just crazy to me like i feel like they've been destroying the market as far as the hype goes as far as the resale goes like everything is just up i feel like the best way to make money reselling nowadays is by doing raffles because people get the chance to win shit for low and the seller makes a lot more than it should be you feel me but in a nutshell i feel like you should wait to sell your premium because prices always end up going up on pieces that are good from the get-go so if you have a piece that's really dope for example let's say the tvt that came out it was really hyped when it came out right then prices started going down because of stock x now trust me when the season is about to be over prices are gonna go up as well as the shoulder bag that came out these dropped for like 60 dollars with shipping they were on stock edge for like 200 i feel like if you wait these shits are gonna go up even higher because it's such a unique piece that people are gonna want and this color hasn't came out and i don't even remember how long once this season is over you won't see this design again so that's the good thing about preem but at the end of the day i feel like you should definitely wait to sell your supreme if you want to make that extra little profit this goes for sneakers as well if you want to make more money on sneakers you should hold them off for a little bit because 
because all the little kids that just want to get rid of kicks and make that little ten dollars are gonna sell them people are gonna use their pairs so they're not gonna be dead stock no more and then you're still gonna have yours in like a month or two down the road and prices are gonna go up my prime example when it comes to this was the blue tints that I bought around January this was when they were like three hundred and forty dollars and now they're like four hundred and fifteen dollars so that's like a eighty dollar come up and I still haven't worn my shit so if I decide to sell them I could possibly make seventy dollars on them just by holding them for a couple months so that's basically what I'm trying to preach to you guys if you're borrowing money to buy supreme and resell it that's not the smartest idea you feel me but at the end of the day let me know what you guys think down below smash the thumbs up button subscribe click the post notification bell you already know what it is i apologize for taking this little mini break or whatever but we back baby you already know the shit we posting like every day i'm not slacking i'm not slipping maybe sunday i can't post because my little brother gotta do something but you already know what it is we back baby peace out and to that giveaway two more weeks we out of here stay up and i'm out